So in today's video, I wanted to show you guys my top five coach bags. This was a pretty hard video to make because I have a lot of coach bags and I really love a lot of them, like all of them, obviously. Um, I've kept a lot of bags, I've sold a lot of bags over time, but I have always come back to coach. So I wanted to share with you guys my top five favorites that are the most practical. So I do have some pieces in my collection like this runway piece, which is the banana bag, the sequins bag, which is amazing for New Year's. I do feel like these bags, I wanted to put them in my favorites collection just because I love these to death. And I just I like the banana bag is probably in my collection forever, even though it is the least practical bag in my collection by far but i wanted to make the list more on the bags that i feel like are were the most used so without further ado let's get into them so the first bag i want to show you guys is actually my newest bag in the collection this is the coach carter 26 coach carter tote bag 26. so 26 is the smallest size and i actually do have it in a larger size the regular one and I plan on doing a video on this bag just because I cannot, I just love this bag so much. Like I wanna buy this bag in every single color <laughs> because it's that good. This one, even though it looks like a pretty small tote, it does actually fit a lot of stuff. I really love this taupe color. I think it's very neutral and very cozy. And I love that the strap is very soft, co like cotton, <laughs> cotton strap. And I love the way that it's so minimally designed, but I, I just think that it's very comfortable. It's just a perfect strap for this tote bag. You can wear it with the crossbody straps or you can just wear it with the handle. And I think that's cute too. This is my current everyday bag. So it does have all of my essential stuff on it, in it. But as you can see, it is just one open one large open compartment. There are no pockets inside and there is a, a zipper closure on top. So I love that this has a zipper closure. I just feel like it makes it way more safer. Also, I've been really loving this bag for weather, like adverse weather conditions. I wanted a bag that was not leather and that could still handle the weather. And this bag, even though it is made out of canvas, is actually really, really durable. And for a price point of a little under $200, I think it is absolutely worth it. Moving right along to the second favorite bag in my collection. This is also probably the oldest bag in my collection. This is the Coach Swinger. This is the regular size swinger. So although it is a small bag, she actually fits quite a lot. As you can see, it's a like a little bit wider. So although this bag looks very small, she, is, she packs a punch for sure. And I got it in the black color. This bag is made of genuine glove tanned leather. And it actually comes with two straps. It comes with a shoulder strap and it does come with this crossbody strap. So I don't have the shoulder strap on me right now. I'm not, not entirely sure where it is, but it's mostly because I wear this bag exclusively crossbody. I just feel like that is the most comfortable way to wear this bag. I really love that Coach gives a lot of options for how to hold the bag and for the straps on a lot of their um, handbags. So it is a nice touch. This one is also like very affordable. I believe it's $250, but I would get it on sale because I got this bag on sale and I think I paid a little bit under $200 for it. So this one has the beautiful brass hardware and turn lock here. So you can feel really safe since it does have a security closure. And you just open it up like this. Are no pockets, no card holders or anything, just the story patch and the inside is canvas lining. But as you see, it is very spacious. And I feel like I gravitate towards the bags that are more of an open concept. That way you can organize it how you wish. And there's just a lot more room to put things in. The silhouette is classic, it's timeless. I do feel like this is gonna become a new vintage in the future. Um, and that is why I just feel like this will be in my collection forever. I definitely see this bag being sold as like a vintage collection piece years down the line, you know, like 10, 20 years from now. So I absolutely love this bag. It's just so practical. It's very lightweight and it fits everything I need in terms of 
essentials. And I just love this little lock closure thing. I think it's so cute. So that is the swinger. The next bag I have in my collection, I have actually done a video on this bag already on my channel. So go check it out if you're interested. But this is my Lana 23. I absolutely love this bag. This is a smaller tote style bag, but I love the silhouette. I love that it kind of has like this slouchy casual look but it's actually pretty structured and it is made of pebbled leather the inside is um in leather lining in this nice burnished color it does come with a crossbody strap so i love wearing it with a crossbody strap but i also just like wearing it like on the crook of my arm these two things are accessories that um, you have to purchase separately, by the way, so it does not come with the bag, but they always stay on the Lana 23. I just think it looks the best on this bag. And the inside just has this magnetic pocket here, and it is also lined in leather. So I really like this because this is like how you can organize the bag since it is just kind of an open catch-all concept. There's nothing on the back here, but you can see the thickness it's not too thick, but definitely has some substance and it just has this brass C here, which I think is really, really pretty. If I have to recommend any bags to people, Lana 23 is definitely one of them. On to number four, this is the Coach Bandit Crossbody and it is the smaller of the Coach Bandit bag. I did actually make a video on this channel on the Bandit shoulder bag so you can check that out that is the bigger one but this one is actually my favorite right now in terms of all the bandits that i have i feel like it is just a really perfect size bag it's pretty small it does not fit a lot i mean i can fit my phone my keys and like my card case and maybe like a lippy or two it doesn't fit a lot, but I really like it because I feel like it's compact and it doesn't take up a lot of space. So this is my go-to bag for when I am taking quick walks, either with my dog or um, to the store or like to the bakery or to get coffee. This is like my, my coffee bag, I guess. Just because it's so simple, it's just, you know, really nice to be able to like walk around with this bag. It's not heavy and it just has my essentials. Plus, it is really cute and I love this color. So it does come in the brass hardware, which I think the brass looks amazing with this green color. But honestly, like how gorgeous is this green color? And it does come with an attached, well, you can detach it, but it does have this strap that you attach to the bag. So it is a long crossbody strap, but you can, um, just like the bandit, shoulder bag you can make it into a shoulder bag if you wanted to you can carry it with a shorter strap so it has the beautiful c here and the bandit is made of um full grain leather so full grain leather is actually the most like top tier leather compared to glove tanned or pebbled leather this is definitely a higher end leather one that comes to mind is the celine um, the Celine Triumph uses full grain leather, just to give you an example. So full grain leather is pretty high end and it does have this cool like clasp closure and I love that. So it has um, all leather lining and in that like burnished amber color again. On the inside here, there is a little pocket here. I like to put cash here just because it fits really nicely in this and it's pretty thin so there's not much you can put in there. And then it has a main compartment and this cool like little flat pocket. So I don't actually love this flat pocket because it's, the bag is already small as is, but I do appreciate that they added it in there. And then in the back, you could potentially put something in here as well. And you do have this little slip pocket in the back. Great for like parking, um, garage tickets and stuff like that or receipts. So that is her. I like to um, have it, have the straps put away like this whenever I have it when I'm not using it. I just love that you can make this little handle out of it and it's like a really cute way to store the bag. Last but certainly not the least, this is my favorite bag of 2023 and the fav my favorite bag that I have in my collection currently and it is my most liked bag. So can you guess? Let's drum roll please. It is the swing zip. <laughs> so 
If you are familiar with like bag talk or like seeing coach videos on TikTok, this was a very viral trending video in 2023. I feel like even though it was viral and it was trending, I don't think that this bag is just trendy. I really feel like this is a staple piece that also like the swinger has potential to just stay a like legacy vintage bag in the future. Coach, if you are watching this, which they are most likely never going to see my video but if they do watch this video i hope that they will bring back the swing zip for years to come with multiple different sizes and multiple different colors because this bag is it this bag is the one i could go on and on about this bag and i do have also a full video reviewing the bag you may have noticed that in the video my bag was black and in this video my bag is the um the hunter green so no i don't actually have both i do have the pink one and i have this one and i just have two in my collection right now however i kind of wish i still had the black one i did end up returning the black one and i traded it in for the green so i still do have the pink one but i no longer have the black one the reason i decided on that is because i already have a lot of black bags and i just felt like this hunter green was too good to pass up on and I'm so glad I did because this bag ended up being sold out and it is currently sold out for I don't even know how long. I think they said they'll bring it back in the spring. So you'll definitely get a second chance to pick this up if you didn't get to during the winter or fall. I think it released, I believe it released in the fall if you did not get a chance to pick it up um, because it is sold out currently. Um, you will get another chance in the spring and I truly feel like this green is very muted and neutral enough that it, you can wear it all year round and I absolutely love this bag and I always keep the cherry charm on there just because I got it with the cherry charm and I think it looks so perfect. I think the cherry charm also makes it so that the bag doesn't feel too wintry and it can just feel like a nice little cute everyday anytime bag. The brass hardware looks absolutely gorgeous with this green color. I just think I'm usually a silver girly, so I gravitate towards bags with silver hardware. Just It's just that most bags from Coach or elsewhere, they tend to use gold hardware, but I do like Coach's gold hardware because it's more brass, more toned down. And in the case of this bag, in the case of this hunter green color, it is just absolutely perfection. So it is just a shoulder bag. You can adjust the holes here. I have it at the very longest just because I like to have it long, especially as I'm wearing winter jackets, but you can adjust it and there are three holes. This is a 1998 um, reimagined bag. So this is a vintage collection style that they have renewed um, in 2023. So I just absolutely love how vintage it looks. It looks very 90s. The style is on point. It's so minimal, so pretty, and just I love everything about the silhouette of this bag. It does have feet on the bottom here, and this is made of glove tanned leather as well. It's very soft and buttery, and I love that there is feet. So this does have two long straps that you open up like this, and then you have the zipper pull, Inside is the same color leather, all leather lining. It has a card pocket here, it has the story patch on the back, and it does have a zipper compartment with canvas lining. And you'll notice that the zipper pull um, seems kind of random, but it's actually the same zipper pull they used in the vintage version of this bag, which I think is why they brought this back. And I think it's a very nice little touch and nice little throwback. So that is her. I mean, it is a very minimal style bag, but I think she's absolutely beautiful. But as you see, there are a lot of neutral tones in this collection that I have curated. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, let me know what you guys think of my top five. If there are any bags in particular um, that you would like to see more of or have a thorough review of, leave me a comment below. I don't have every single coach bag, obviously, but I do have quite a lot in my collection to share with you guys. So that's all from me today. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.